The government has announced tough new measures as it clamps down on cosmetic surgery, including Botox treatment and lip injections. Today's announcement follows a review by the medical director of the NHS, Sir Bruce Keogh, who says anyone having cosmetic procedures needs better protection. While the government says work is already underway on a number of issues, it's setting up a standards committee, a training review is being done of those providing Botox treatment and lip injections, and a breast implant registry is being set up as a contact point for women who encounter any problems. Earlier this year, ITV News Central heard from women in the region who've had bad experiences. Samantha Jarrett was one of them. She regularly has her lips injected with fillers at a clinic in Warwickshire, but in the past was treated elsewhere by someone who hadn't had sufficient training. It left her lips deformed. In a moment, we'll be hearing from Antonia Maraconda, a campaigner who's been calling for more regulation. But first, here's what Sir Bruce Keogh had to say about the current state of cosmetic surgery. In many cases, um, the consent for uh, cosmetic procedures was being taken by salesmen at the same time that they were offering financial inducements. There were also um, surgical procedures being offered as raffle prizes. Um, their advertising was largely uncontrolled. When something went wrong, there were a lot of women who had had surgery in good faith, and when it went wrong, they were left high and dry without any redress. Well, let's talk now to Antonia Maraconda. Antonia, you heard there Sir Bruce Keogh acknowledging quite graphically the problems um, about these uh, procedures that are available. Do you think the new measures have gone far enough? Well, it's certainly um, very encouraging to see the response is heading in the right direction. What would be even more comforting now to the consumers to see these points actually made legislation. And we'd, we, we really look forward to welcoming these points becoming law now, not just talk. So what would you like to, hear, to see happening specifically? Specifically, I would like for the consumer to have more redress when things do go wrong in the cosmetic interventions industry. I think we are now all aware that 50,000 British women were left high and dry after the PIP implant scandal. And that very subject has um, left the issue open of what do you do, what does the consumer do when things go wrong? And uh, unfortunately, that situation made us aware that there is not much redress. So I welcome welcome this. Um, I also welcome the prospective legislation of only medically qualified professionals injecting cosmetic fillers um, into patients and clients faces. This is because far too many non-medically qualified pressure, um, professionals are being allowed to do so and the risks of complications have increased quite worryingly over the last few years. I'm very, very um, happy to see that a breast implant registry is on the agenda and I'm also happy to see that the training of cosmetic surgery and aesthetic professionals is going to step up. Um, Antonia, very quickly, I know you won't mind us saying that you've had uh, various uh, cosmetic procedures, but what is needed? Is it more women like yourself to stand up and uh, talk about these procedures in order to bring about those changes that we need? Yes, more women should talk about what they're having done. You know, cosmetic surgery, aesthetic treatments now are no longer taboo subjects. There's something that many people do, and rightly so, we all have the right to look and feel better about ourselves. I've had Botox, I've had cosmetic surgery. The one thing that always concerned me is that if something did go wrong, who's going to help me? Antonio Maraconda, thank you very much for joining us.